Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. After our tragic ending in the last video where I died a lot, we're gonna we're gonna hop back in if I could just speak and and see where today takes us. So buckle in and the video will start in a second. Oh my gosh, it's letting me save. This is rough. Whew. I think this is the end, but I could be wrong. the end okay and of course it's not gonna let me like try to snipe them from over here oh I hate walking through them whoop I saw that This is sorry. Oh, there she is. Come here. Luckily, they're kind of like glass cannons. Rex, do something! I think it can't, I think I'm like just on the boundary of where it should be able to see me. Oh my gosh. How many more of there are of you are there? Come on, please. It, like, I hate when I scope in sometimes and try to fire, it doesn't do it. Like, it's like, nah, mm, takes it as a suggestion. Please let me be close to the end. I mean, these things just one-shot you if they puke on you. 
so I ended up actually running out of room on my hard drive. So the last episode, or I guess the first half of this, I have no idea how long it's gonna be. Anyway, this episode's a little weird. Yeah, it's because I died a lot and because I had some technical issues, but luckily the video file saved. And yeah, <laughs> this has just gone on for quite a while. Um, but yes, the video file saved. I think I only noticed like a minute, which that minute wasn't very important. It's just a lot of that. It was just that. It's just some of that. And I died, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but here we go. attached to her you could see I'm free I I suppose I should thank you for releasing you me. can see like the attachments and stuff in the back it was like uh. okay good I was like oh my gosh the audio is not working anyway yeah this is a, you're like oh man that that thing should like it have been able to defend itself better but like you know like like attach more tentacles or whatever but I think it really does have a very like the relationship it had with its thralls like definitely was very dependent on them wasn't very self-sufficient yeah is everything all right are you hurt i am fine or i will be in time my name is shiala i serve i served matriarch benezia when she allied herself with saren so did i benezia foresaw the influence saren would have she joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Yeah, and it didn't help. Like, it's one of the... I've actually been watching a show called Hannibal recently. It's the newest one, or the newer-ish one, from, like, a couple years ago. It's very good. It's three seasons uh, with Mads Mikkelsen. Um, but in that one, he is sort of insidious, you know, with, like... He doesn't, like, control minds. It's all very based in, you know, like, reality, you know? 
uh, like our current reality, and but he uses like psychological techniques. Uh, and I think Saren has a combination of psychological techniques and the influence of the Reaper, which is as we as most of us know. I think it's I don't know if it's explicitly stated, but that giant ship was the Reaper, right? Um, and it has a bit of an insidious influence on the mental capacity of those in its vicinity. Is that a spoiler? I think that's a spoiler. If I remember, I might cut that part out. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not too worried about spoilers. But yeah, the ship itself does, as we know, have uh, an insidious influence. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous Yay! <laughs> okay. Anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the mind. I should just let the game followers. talk and stop talking. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Uh. I wonder if it's like her, like her abilities in particular were like w w would like were conducive towards like communication, like of this sort of some sort, or if it was just like he just grabbed a random Asari. I think it's probably the random Asari thing, but maybe hers were like fine tuned for like a dip for like communication kind of a thing. It's like each person has their own talents and skills and stuff. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Mm -hmm. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. It's fascinating. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. Whoa. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. Yes. Although the 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 Thorian itself is not Prothean, I guess consuming Protheans helps and also observing them when they were alive. It's close enough, potentially. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did It's gonna Saren. break my brain. Try to relax, nah. Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. I'm just- Every action sends ripples- Trusting this woman. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Shepard would maybe pass out a little bit. She's like, what? You're so crazy. You're weird. Like, your brain is weird. And Shepard's like, 
Is, are my are my eyeballs still here? I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are. And all I do is pat my head. What was that, Commander Shepard? Are you all right? Uh, I don't know. I feel like if the if the beacon was rough, the entire like endemic cultural memory of a species would be pretty rough too. I saw something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time. I should for your write mind this stuff down. This I should write down. You look a little unsteady, Commander. Perhaps you should return to the Normandy. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Like, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> if I have the entire cultural memory of a people, like, long extinct, like, I should be writing it down or getting brain scans or something. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. Wait, I may have spoiled, because I didn't want to spoil the name of the ship, Sovereign. Like, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just call it a Reaper. Uh, but potentially, I may have spoiled the fact that Sovereign is a Reaper. <laughs> so if I did spoil that, I'm sorry for, like, the three of you out there who maybe didn't know. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> this is not a spoiler-free playthrough. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, I mean, more compelling. I'm drawn to my ship. You know Spend what I mean? Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will I lose I do love yourself. my ship. There is no other way to explain I, uh, it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> it's very different. Um... Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is. Gone. I really, truly do feel really bad about. I, I don't know. I just. I basically committed genocide. Like, it was a, potentially the last of its species. The only one of its species? I don't even know. And. And I just killed it. And it had, like, potentially thousands of years. Like, tens and thousands of years of knowledge. And I just dropped it into his shaft. Although, to be fair. I have thought that they could write themselves out of this, potentially. Not that they probably would anymore, because hopefully we don't go back to the Milky Way galaxy, because I'll be so angry if we go back to the Milky Way galaxy. That story is done. Please don't let us go back. Anyway, um... Potentially, you could look at it as, like, the nodes, like, the central nervous system nodes that were scattered around. It could potentially grow from, like, plants can grow from cuttings oftentimes, right? Maybe the Thorian is similar, you know? But, truly... Probably dropping it down that mine shaft or whatever. Probably destroyed it. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form, a sentient being that lived for fifty thousand years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. A, a difficult situation to be in, for sure. She's like, yeah, no, I didn't want to be, like, eaten or, you know, consumed or being a thrall for the rest of my life. But she can, having been tied to it, she can appreciate what it was to a degree, you know? Mm. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. 
As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs oh, yes. any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance yeah, fleet. The, and the its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. Did we do this already? With it, you said Saren. Yes, yeah, we did. To yes. Spend enough time in Sovereign's and we did matriarch you Saren. Lose yourself. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful. He's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Darkness. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. It's just... Like, I don't know, you'd think after everyone's, like, accusing Benezia, like, the followers that were like, no, we're not gonna follow you, would have come forward and said, hey, this is what happened, when everybody's like, oh, Benezia's gone to the dark side, you know, they're like, hey, wait, you know. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I've played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile God has blessed you and all that. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Are you free? You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. How are you guys doing? It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. Wait, what do you mean? And start over. Oh yeah, you have a chance to give it get to give it to him. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. Mm, you have... These people are brave, but the Gath are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. This place is better. Truly. Refugee, refugee. These are all the science people. Oh, here she is. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. I mean, she couldn't really do anything about it. She was in thraldom, you know. Bye. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Farewell. Farewell, Arcelia. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I think that's why she was grumpy. She couldn't she couldn't take out her anger at the Thorians. She took out her anger on other people. That's my personal theory. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see <laughs> oh, Okay. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. No, no, you're good. What are you planning? What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Goodbye. I wish you well. Future you as well. I hope you're nice to the people. They've been through a lot. Thank you for everything. Don't be too hard on them. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free Everyone's again. Everyone's, like, passed out. I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. We already did this. Yeah. Why does it keep telling me I can do that? You were at the Skilly oh, Bridge, yeah. right? Never thought someone like you... I am a hero. <laughs> I, I can't help everybody, but I can help some people. Theros will be back in shape in no time, Commander. We'll make sure of it. I think that would suck, though, right? It's like, you're a hero, you should be able to save us, but there's, like, people in every corner of the galaxy that need saving, and you can't save everybody. See? Thank you for everything you tried to do here. 
She was like trying real hard. I'm free. Thank you for giving me my mind. I, I thought it was gonna say it, but yeah, she's like she was fighting exceptionally hard and had to be in the hospital for it. Free. Oh, this is I can't believe I'm This is free. the guy from the basement. From the from the tunnels that uh, was chilling down there, I could have sworn when you could talk. I, I like when I had asked. Um, oh shoot, the guy who shot himself, a previous leader of the colony. I swear you could talk to him about Ian. I meant to mention it at the time, and he could be like, "Oh, poor Ian. He's like he basically says like poor Ian. He's lost his mind with all the stress. We've tried to do what we can to help him, but he won't listen to us. But the way he said it was kind of insidious, right? Where it's like we've tried to help him." But he's beyond all help now. Basically, you know, like if you're in the know, you're like, oh, that's Thorian talk. You know, like that's like saying like, oh, we can't do anything for him because he refuses to comply with the Thorian, you know. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running. Your, your, your face looks tired. <laughs> it will take time for things to get back to normal around here. Thank you for freeing. The galaxy is still a very unexplored place. Like, I think that's some people's argument for let's go back to the Milky Way galaxy, even though that story's dead and done. Is that there's still so much of the Milky Way galaxy we haven't explored, you know? And even on a planet like Pharos, where like people have picked over it and like, you know I I think well this might be one of the first colonies they've tried to set up truly. But they found something so crazy and so like alien and unknown. But like all, like humans always do, we broke it. <laughs> and we saw something cool and we were like, whoa, and tried playing with it and we broke it because we're morons. <laughs> but it wasn't actually, I think Saren, truly Saren is the one like at big time fault. Cause he's the one who was like, hey, you wanna talk? And the Thorian was like, hmm, this is odd, okay. And then, and then he was like, then Saren was like, nah, I'm gonna make you hate everybody that walks on like two legs or, or whatever. That would exclude the Hanar and the Elcor, which, you know, they'd probably... It was like the ground crawlers, you know? Technically, the Hanar are actually aquatic, and the only reason they can float around like that, though, is because they have, like, these specialized air sacs that they can use to get around, like a hover vehicle. But they, it's, not, it's not natural. It's stuff that, like, like they get, like, anti-grav hover sacs or something. And it's just for them to be able to float around. Stand in by air. shore party. Decontamination Rex. in progress. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me. Oh, my brain hurts. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make She's like, sense I'm an expert, but apparently there are other Asari who've been doing this for hundreds of years, and she's only been doing it for what, like 80, maybe? Like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's more than a human. But it's fine. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Same thing, over and over. It never gets clearer. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see the king? <laughs> the beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. So I have all this running around in my head and I don't, none of it none of it actually was valuable. What? You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? 
Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, Why I Why would he have it? I can... Like, it... I didn't think it's a thing you could take out of the beacon. I'm sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. You sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind. Drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it mm. looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a difficult woman. I don't let people in very easily. <laughs> We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Don't worry, Caden. It's fine. She's talking sweet to me, but I, I, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much Yeah, easier. it's gonna get them in you big trouble. You able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Mm. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human. Call. I mean, what do you want from me? <laughs> you know, I would go to any lengths to save anybody. And the fact that it's a human colony, it just happened to be a human colony that had geth problems. It was a Turian colony that had geth problems. I would have gone there and done the same thing. Freaking heck. Being human had nothing to do with it. They but also, why wouldn't I save humans? Honorable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time. Don't comes. tell me how to do my job. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. I hope that woman doesn't have to face palm, palm, blah, face palm too often. It seems like these other two guys are just always like out for blood, and she's like, "Please, everybody, stop." <laughs> but anyway, I should probably go here. Uh, this is another video that's. I don't even know how long it's gonna be, or whether or not it's gonna be split in two or what. Probably. It's Thank you all for watching, though. I appreciate it. After this, I'm going to go immediately right now and go talk to everybody because now is the time to go chit-chat. But thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Hello, everyone. Here's the little Patreon addendum that I'm throwing into the last few videos that I've got. Uh, thank you so much, Scalamonger, for your sapling pledge. I appreciate it very much. And thank you, Reese Galito. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it a lot. <laughs> um, thank you again to both of you who are both sampling tier uh, pledge patrons, patrons. Uh, and thank you to Christopher, who's a patron at the tree level. Um, so thank you all so much. Again, Scalamonger, Rescalito, Christopher, thank you so, so much. Your support really does make me very happy. <laughs> so uh, thanks again, and I'm going to end the video here now. <laughs>